students, good day. I am Sir Alexis John M. Nainge, and I am here to teach you the measures of variability and grouped data. Okay. Good day, students. You are now here to learn about measures of variability. But before we tackle about the measures of variability, let us now learn the objectives before you learn the subject. During the period, you are expected to first identify the different measures of variability. Second is to give the formula to compute each measure of variability. And then the last one is solve problems involving measures of variability for ungrouped data. Before we go in solving the measures of variability of the specific data, you may want to look at this data. As you can see, these are the scores of five girls and five boys in mathematics quiz. What can you observe? As you can see, these are different data, set of data coming from the scores of the boys and the girls in the mathematics quiz. But as you can see, the mean of the boys and the mean of the scores of the girls are the same. What does this mean? To better understand the scores of the girls from the boys, we have here the map or the Cartesian coordinate plane of the scores of the boys. As you can see, the score 60 is here as well as the 70, 80, 95, and 100. So if we are going to compare the scores of the boys and the girls, let us see this one. As you can see, the scores of the boys from the girls are very dispersed. And the scores of the girls are situated here. Okay, now, here's what we're going to do. The measures of variability for a group data. We are going to interpret the scores of the, uh, the, the data given by the scores of the students in their mathematics quiz. So first is to compute for the range of the scores or the difference between the highest and the lowest observation. R is equal to highest score minus the lowest score. For the boys, the highest score is 100 and the lowest score is 60. So therefore, the range for the scores of the boys is 40. And as for the girls, the highest score is 83 and the lowest score is 79. That gives you the range of 4. So therefore, the range of the boys, the scores of the boys is 40 and the range of the girls, the scores of the girls is given by 4. Therefore, the girls are more homogeneous than the boys in their math ability. Mean deviation. Now, here's now the formula for the mean deviation. Or, the average of the summation of the absolute value of each observation from the mean. Where, MD is the mean deviation. X is the individual score, X is the mean, and N is the total number of scores. So let us try to solve the mean deviation of the scores of the boys in their mathematics quiz. Frederick has 70, Russell has 95, Murphy has 60, Jerome has 80, and Tom has 100. So the mean there is 81. So what is the purpose of having the mean? Is to subtract, first is to subtract the score from the mean. That this means that how long or how far from are the scores from the mean. That is the meaning of mean absolute deviation. So first, let us take the summation of all the scores is equal to 405 and the summation of the scores minus mean summation. And take note, I would like to highlight this one, that the difference should be in 
absolute value, meaning there are no negative numbers. So you will take the summation of those scores and the summation of the scores is 66 divided by the number of the scores. The total number of data, which is 5. So that means 66 divided by 5 is 13.2. It means that mean absolute deviation of the scores of the boys is equal to 13.2. And now for the girls, Grace has 82, Irish has 80, Abigail 83, Sherry 81, and Christine has 71. So still the mean, the mean is 81. So let us subtract the score from the mean Having this, the summation is 6. And the total number of data of their scores is equal to 5. So that means 6 divided by 5 is equal to 1.2. Okay, the mean deviation for the boys is equal to 13.2. And the mean deviation for the girls is 1.2. So based from the computed mean deviation, the girls are more homogeneous than the boys. Now let us solve for the variance of the deviation. So the variance means the average score or the average of the squared deviation from the mean. Now take note that there are two variants. First is the population variance and the sample variance given by this formula. Okay, let us take the variance, let us solve for the variance of the scores of the boys. So, we have here, all you have to do is to take the square of the score minus the mean. Frederick has 11, which means the square of 11 is 121, and Russell has 14, and the square of 14 is 196. Murphy has negative 21, the square of 21 is 441. Jerome has negative 1. The square is 1. And Tom has 19. And the square of 19 is 361. And take the summation of those scores. And the, the summation is equal to 1,120. And let us now solve. The population variance is equal to 1,120 divided by 5 is equal to 224. And the sample variance is 1,120 1, divided by 4 is equal to 280. And as for the girls, Grace has 1 and the square is of 1 is 1. Irish has 1 and the square of 1 is 1. Abigail has 2. And the square of 2 is 4, and Sherry has 0, and the square of 0 is 0. And Christine has 2, which will give us the square of 4. And you will have the summation of this is equal to 10. And that gives you the population variance. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. And the uh, uh, sample variance, variance, 10 divided by 4 is equal to 2.5. Okay, there you have it, the variance of the scores. The values of the variance also reveals that the score of the boys are more spread out than of the girls. As you can see, the scores of the variance of the scores of the boys given by 224 and 280. And as for the girls, the variance is 2 and the sample variance is 2.5. That means that the score of the boys are more spread out than of the girls. And now for computing the standard deviation, the standard deviation of the ungrouped data is just the square root of the variance. So let us take this one. The population variance of the scores of the boys is given by 224. And the square root of that score is equal to 14.97. That means the standard deviation of the population is given by 
14.97. And the sample variance, which is 280, square root of 280 gives you 16.73. That means that the standard deviation of the scores of the boys is equal to 16.37. And as for the girls, the population variance is given by 2. And the square root of 2 is 1.41. And as for the sample variance, variance is 2.5. And the square root of 2.5 is 1.53. Question. Why do you think the range is considered an unreliable measure of variability? The answer is, the range is considered unreliable because we will only use two values, the highest and the lowest, which is not complete representation of all the observations. Think about this. Why do we need to work harmoniously with everyone? What are the different measures of variability? How do we compute for each measure? So, to apply what you have learned, I will give you this sequence. You may pause the video to answer this. And the answers for this sequence is this one. So, you're correct? If not, please rewatch the video and have a good day. R minus H R is equal to one. Okay, okay. So